In this video, we're gonna be ranking the top five best solar batteries in 2024, starting off with number five, the Canadian Solar EP Cube. The Canadian Solar EP Cube is an AC and DC coupled battery that came out in 2023 and has been a great success. The Canadian Solar EP Cube will offer an LFP chemistry, have a storage capacity of 13.3 kilowatt hours, a continuous and peak discharge power of 7.6 and 11.4 kilowatts respectively, and a warranty of 10 years. After installation, the cost of an EP cube is approximately $18,300, shipping out to be approximately $1,375 per kilowatt hour of storage. We are gonna be looking at the approximated installation cost for each of these batteries, and it's important that we compare them on a cost per kilowatt hour of storage basis, as opposed to head to head, because all of these batteries vary in storage size, some being as small as five kilowatt hours, and so it would be unfair to compare them by overall price. One of the nicest things off the bat about the Canadian Solar EP Cube is that it's gonna be a stackable design. We have seen in recent years, more and more local jurisdictions tightening up on local code, requiring significant spacing between batteries and limiting where they can be installed in the house. So to have a battery that's simple to expand in and of itself is a huge plus. Another huge benefit about the Canadian Solar EP Cube is that it's an AC and DC coupled battery, meaning that you can take advantage of the ease of installing an AC coupled battery system if you were per se to wanting to add a battery backup to an existing solar power system. And you can also take advantage of the efficiency of a DC coupled solar power system if you're gonna be doing a brand new installation of your solar and storage at the same time. While this battery did just come out last year and I have not seen it being offered by a ton of installers, I think it's a great option for homeowners looking for a space conscious battery installation and it's probably not for somebody who's looking to work with a battery manufacturer that's been in the battery space for a long time as for this is going to be Canadian Solar's first battery product as historically they have been a solar panel manufacturer. Before moving on to number four I wanted to mention the criteria that we're going to be using to rank these batteries. The main things that we're going to be looking at which I have found to be the main determining factors of a battery's value are storage capacity, power output, warranty, functionality, meaning how well it works with other inverters and generators, software, and then price. There really is no one best battery because the best option for a homeowner in a given solar project can vary based upon their needs and their wants with the project. And so for that reason, after I speak about each product, I will be mentioning who it is for and who it's not for. We also do not have any sponsorships or whatnot. We actually sell and install all of these battery options every single month. And the battery that we pick is just dependent upon the project and the project scope at hand. Going into number four, the number four battery that we're gonna be taking a look at is the Solar Edge Energy Bank battery. This battery was released in 2023 in response to the California net metering changes. And it's not only one of the best priced batteries, but it also was designed perfectly for a specific use case. For those of you who are not aware, in Q2 of 2023, California public utility companies changed their solar policy in relation to how they would credit homeowners for sending energy back to the grid, no longer giving export credits to new solar systems that were installed. Therefore, batteries are a necessity in California for all new solar systems. However, since many California homeowners do not experience frequent outages, it is hard to bite the cost of a new battery. Therefore, Solar Edge, who has always been a lowest price driven company, released the Energy Bank battery, which offers 9.7 kilowatt hours of storage per unit and is to be paired with the Solar Edge string inverter. The Solar Edge Energy Bank will feature an NMC chemistry, have a storage capacity of 9.7 kilowatt hours, a continuous and peak discharge power of 5 and 7.5 kilowatts respectively, and a warranty of 10 years. After installation, the cost of a single energy bank is approximately $13,500, coming out to about $1,350 per kilowatt hour of storage. One thing to make clear about this battery is that it does not offer off-grid functionality, meaning that when the grid goes down, the battery is not able to provide storage power to the house. In efforts to keep the cost down on this battery, Solar Edge removed the cold start capabilities and hardware, so this battery is completely intended for homeowners just looking for the battery to power the house at nighttime. This battery is also only functional with the Solar Edge inverter system. However, due to it being very well priced, I have seen this battery being sold all the time to homeowners in California and other areas without net metering. Moving on to number three, we have the Tesla Powerwall 3. The Tesla Powerwall 3 has been one of the most awaited for product releases in the solar industry in recent time for many reasons. The revamp Powerwall 3 will feature an all-white sleek aesthetic allowing for 13.5 kilowatt hours of storage 
per battery. Now, for the past couple of years, the Tesla Powerwall 2 was the number one selling solar battery on the residential market due to it having a very high storage capacity, strong brand name, and being AC coupled, meaning it could be paired with most solar inverters and allow for retrofit installations. However, the downside with the Tesla Powerwall 2 was that it had a low power output, meaning that it could not power a significant amount of loads at a given time compared to other batteries. To address that issue, Tesla revamped the Powerwall 3 to have nearly double the power output than the previous model. And they did this all while switching over to an LFP chemistry, which is considered by many a safer chemistry. Another big benefit of the Powerwall 3 that homeowners are gonna be able to take advantage of is bi-directional charging. Bi-directional charging has been one of the most talked about technologies in the residential solar industry for a while. And what it would mean is that in the event of a power outage, homeowners with an electric vehicle could discharge their car's stored electricity to their home, then powering the loads in the house. This is referred to as Tesla PowerShare and is currently only available with the Cybertruck paired with the new Tesla firmware on the Tesla Powerwall 3. As I mentioned earlier, the Tesla Powerwall 3 will feature an LFP chemistry, have a storage capacity of 13.5 kilowatt hours, a continuous and peak discharge power of 11.5 and 15 kilowatts respectively, and a warranty of 10 years. After installation, the cost of a single Tesla Powerwall is approximately $14,500, coming out to $1,074 per kilowatt hour of storage. Now you may be wondering why I did not rank the Tesla Powerwall 3 towards the top of my list, despite it being the most popular and talked about battery at this given time, and there's a few reasons why. Firstly, Tesla designed this battery in a specific way to incentivize more homeowners to use their all-in-one Tesla system. Essentially, they made this battery DC coupled and really only compatible with their inverters, so you would now no longer be able to per se pair Enphase microinverters or another inverter product with the battery. You would instead be required to use the Tesla string inverter as your inverter system for the panels. This means the battery is not intended to be added on to currently existing systems as retrofit, but instead it's designed for all-in-one storage plus solar installations. There have been some rumors that Tesla will be releasing an AC coupled version of this battery later this year. However, nothing has been confirmed. Also, this battery was not designed specifically for off-grid functionality. It does not have a high amount of generator connection capabilities as other batteries have, and scaling the Powerwall 3s is limited. I would say that the perfect use case for a Powerwall 3 installation would be for a homeowner who's looking for a brand new storage plus solar installation for their house and is maybe looking to use one or two Tesla power walls to have backup power for a number of hours in the event of an outage. It is likely not for somebody who's looking to use an alternative inverter system such as Enphase, a hybrid inverter, or whatever it may be, nor somebody who's looking to achieve true off-grid capabilities. Now, moving on to number two, we have one of the most popular and talked about batteries in recent time, and that is gonna be the Enphase 5P battery. Enphase is one of the most well-known and respected manufacturers in the solar and storage space, as for they have been manufacturing tremendous products outside of the Bay Area since 2006. For a long time, their 10T battery was their main storage product until 2023 in which they released the long awaited for 5P. Getting right into the specs of the battery, the Enphase 5P offers an LFP chemistry, a usable storage capacity of five kilowatt hours, a continuous and peak discharge power of 3.84 and 7.68 kilowatts respectively, as well as a warranty of 15 years. After installation, the cost of a 5P is approximately $5,500, coming out to $1,100 per kilowatt hour in storage. The first thing that you may notice about this battery is that it's only five kilowatt hours in storage, However, don't be drawn away from that for you can stack up to six or eight batteries in a given installation. Enphase did also release this battery in response to the California net metering changes. And so the battery offers some pretty neat software functionalities such as self-consumption, time of use, and home backup, allowing homeowners to do things such as discharging the battery power back onto the grid to receive credit, powering up from the grid directly, and having the battery programmed to power on and off in correlation to the cost of power throughout the day. Another nice feature about this battery is that it integrates very well into the Enphase platform. As I mentioned earlier, Enphase has been a major player in solar manufacturing for the past couple of decades, and they are very well known for their microinverters, which are considered by many to be the top of the line inverter on the market. In the future, they are set to come out with bi-directional charging and products of that sort. And so to pair the Enphase battery with the microinverters overall leads to a very clean installation and it all comes together very nicely in the app where you're able to monitor your inverters production and battery storage. With this battery it can be difficult to judge it head-to-head -head against other batteries because it's only five kilowatt hours in storage 
So if we were to compare three of the Enphase 5P batteries against one of the Tesla Bs, which would work out to be around the same price, we would see that three Enphase batteries would provide 15 kilowatt hours of storage and continuous and peak discharge power of 11.52 and 23.04 kilowatts, as well as 15 year warranties across the board, whereas the Tesla Powerwall 3 system would have a storage of 13.5 kilowatt hours, a continuous and peak discharge power of 11.5 and 15 kilowatts respectively, with the 10 year warranty. One thing about the 5P battery, which I haven't seen any other battery offer, is the ability to install it with or without the backup interface. Per se, you do not experience frequent power outages and storage backup is not a priority to you. However, you do want a battery to power the house at the night hours. You could opt to install the battery without the backup interface, which would shave off about $3,000 in cost for the overall battery system. Overall, the Enphase 5P is a great option for homeowners looking to use the Enphase inverters as their inverter solution for the house, or somebody who's more narrowly looking to size the system or have a smaller battery storage system, as the overall storage size is very flexible with each battery only being five kilowatt hours. And on the contrary, this battery would likely not be for somebody looking to use an inverter system other than Enphase, as for that would not be an option, nor would it be for somebody who's looking to have a space conscious installation as for if you install more than three or four of these batteries it can take up a very significant amount of space on the wall now finishing up the list and coming in at number one we have the franklin whole home battery backup system now for those of you guys who have been following the channel for a while you would know that this is a battery that we have been recommending for a while as for it's really going to be your best option for whole true home backup with one single Franklin whole home battery, you will have an industry leading storage capacity of 13.6 kilowatt hours, a continuous and peak discharge power of five and 10 kilowatts respectively, and a warranty of 12 years. After installation, the cost of a Franklin whole home is approximately $17,500, coming out to $1,287 per kilowatt hour of storage. One thing about this battery that really differentiates itself from the bunch is that Franklin whole home is a true backup storage company. Unlike the other brands on this list, they do not sell panels nor inverters, and so for that reason, they have made this battery so that it's compatible with just about every inverter product on the market, independent of brand or age. With that said, Franklin is likely the best option for homeowners who already have solar on their home and want to add a battery, since as you heard before, batteries such as the Powerwall 3, the Solar Edge Energy Bank, and the Enphase 5P, they were really designed to be installed in first time solar plus storage installations and not designed to be added on to previously existing systems. Now, where the Franklin Whole Home really separates itself is within the hardware and software that it has to offer. Like Enphase, the Franklin Whole Home battery allows you to go inside of the app and pick the use mode that you would like to use the battery for, whether that be backup storage, meaning it's just fully charged in the event of an outage, time of use, where the battery smartly discharges to power your house throughout the later afternoon and night, depending upon the utility rates, or a mix where you can program a certain percentage of power to stay in the battery while the rest goes towards powering the house. With the Franklin battery, you also have three of what are called smart circuits, which allow you all within the app on your smartphone to turn on and off certain loads that you may or may not want draining your battery. So say for example, you're away from your house at work and you see that there's a power outage and you know that at home, the AC is running and draining the battery. Knowing that your battery storage is limited, you can go into the smartphone and application on your phone as long as you have internet connection and shut off that load given that it's controlled by one of the smart circuits in order to better conserve your battery power. Additionally, Franklin offers a generator module which in and of itself separates itself from the bunch as far as giving homeowners true off-grid capability. Having the generator module will allow you to pair just about any portable or standby generator with the battery fairly easy, giving you even more means to power the house in the event of an outage. Now, if true backup storage is not a priority for you and you're mainly looking for a solution that can power the house at night or for a matter of hours and even of an outage, then another product like the Enphase 5P or the Solar Edge Energy Bank may make more sense. But for homeowners looking for a true whole home backup system, getting one or two Franklin batteries is gonna be your best bet. Or if you're looking to get into an even greater and larger off-grid backup battery storage system, then scaling up with Franklin batteries and having the generator module is gonna be a tremendous option to achieve that. Now, the problem with ranking these batteries is that batteries alone are not everything that goes into a solar investment. There are many other things to evaluate when going solar for your home. And so that's why I made a video going over the top five common rooftop solar panel scams to avoid in 2024 which will pop up on the screen now so definitely go ahead and check that out but as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time